Hey class, check out this quick PowerPoint presentation dealing with produce and industry and please come to class ready to answer the three questions at the end of this presentation. So produce and industry. Produce are very important to us. They're important to us in the food industry, the industrial world, the consumer world, for scientific research and also for environmental purposes. In the food industry we get carrageenan from algae. This carrageenan is used in ice cream and salad dressing as an emulsifier. An emulsifier means that it makes it thicker. So this green ugly stuff here turns into this nice creamy stuff over here And in the industrial world, we get abrasives from dead diatom shells. These are used in cleaning agents, in car wax, and also in our toothpaste, believe it or not. These dead diatoms are good for this purpose because they're soft enough to not damage a surface, but yet hard enough to work as a very good buffer. Also in the industrial world, diatomaceous earth is also made from diatoms and it looks like that powdery substance in this bowl here and we get it from these diatoms here all crushed up. This works naturally. There's no chemicals or anything to harm us as humans so it works very well with insects around the house and also for larger pests as well. Protists also help us out in the lab. They're helpful for scientific research. Um, they're used in labs to study ribosomal change within cells, cell cycle controls, and abnormal cell growth, which can be used to study things like cancer. One of the reasons why protists are a good means to study these type of things are that the protists reproduce quickly and we have plenty of them available. And in the environmental impact of protists, we have plant-like protists like we've talked about in class and these guys help out with oxygen production through photosynthesis and also they consume greenhouse gases which helps to regulate temperature and there are also decomposers among our protists that help to re recycle nutrients such as carbon and nitrogen. Three discussion questions I want you to think on and maybe write some notes down and uh, we are going to answer these questions with our bell ringer time the next time that you see me. So thanks for checking this out and we'll see you in class.